In the near future, Tyrell Corporation creates bioengineered humans made for slave labor known as replicants. However the company collapses when their models Nexus 6 through 8 begin to revolt, demanding to have the same rights as humans. When the ecosystem's fall and famine begins to spread all over the planet, industrialist Wallace creates synthetic farming and saves humanity. Then he buys what is left of Tyrell to make it his own corporation, which releases a new model named Nexus 9, made to be more obedient. Older models are hunted down and retired by special agents known as Blade Runners. The year is now 2049, and Agent K, a Nexus 9 model, is traveling outside Los Angeles to capture a rogue replicant. K finds Sapper in his farm and a fight ensues during which Sapper insults Nexus 9 models and mentions that K wouldn't be killing his own kind if he had seen the miracle Sapper saw. K doesn't care and kills him anyway. When K is about to leave, he sees some flowers precisely placed next to a tree and makes a drone scan the area, discovering a chest buried underground and asking a forensic team to come to dig it out. When he returns to the office, K goes through the usual baseline test that replicants must take to prove they're well and obedient, then he goes home. K lives with Joy, a holographic woman he bought to keep him company. She may be just a hologram, but K has become extremely fond of her and has decided to buy her an emanator, which allows Joy to roam freely and not be confined to the apartment anymore. They go together to the rooftop to hug under the rain, but their sweet moment is interrupted by a message that lets K know they have the chest from the farm. K rushes back to the station and learns the chest has a skeleton and some hair that belonged to a woman that died during an emergency cesarean section around 30 years ago. Then K notices there's a serial number on one of the bones, which means she wasn't human but a replicant. This is quite shocking because replicants aren't supposed to be able to reproduce. Lieutenant Joshi thinks that the general public learning about replicants becoming so human-like would tear civilization apart, so she orders K to burn the farm and find the baby to kill them. K is hesitant because if the baby was born then they're human, not a replicant, but Joshi dismisses the idea. On his way out, K realizes the baby was the miracle Sapper saw. Moments later, K arrives at the Wallace company to ask about the replicant, presenting the serial number and some of her hair to identify her. The employee explains this model is from before 2022, when an event known as the blackout wiped out almost every digital file the company had, so they'll have to check if there are any hard copy data left. They find a file that indicates the replicant was standard issue and unremarkable. At that moment a replicant named Love shows up and gives Kay access to an old audio recording belonging to an experimental replicant named Rachel, who coincidentally went missing 30 years ago. This recording was made by a Blade Runner named Rick, and Kay notices he and Rachel seemed very close. Next Kay goes to a retirement home to interview an old man that used to work with Rick, but all he knows is that Rick retired and went away to be alone, nobody knows where. Meanwhile Love brings the latest model to Wallace for testing. Wallace uses a special device to check all the replicant's vital functions and ends up killing her because she cannot procreate, which is something he's trying to program to no avail. He knows there's a child out there that was given birth by a replicant made by the old Tyrell company, and he orders Love to find it so they can build a new future where replicants are born instead of made. Later in the evening, a mysterious figure pays a working girl named Mariette to approach Kay while he dines and find out how much he knows about Sapper. Unfortunately Mariette's efforts to flirt and make conversation are turned down by an unamused Kay. The next day, Kay returns to the farm to find more clues. He notices the piano has two broken keys, and when he checks inside, he finds a tin with a baby sock and a picture of a woman with a baby standing by the tree. Kay goes to check the tree again and discovers the date June 10, 2021 inscribed at the base. These numbers make him have a vision of a house on fire and a kid holding a toy horse, which disturbs him greatly. Then Kay sets the farm on fire and leaves. At that station, Love sneaks inside the morgue and steals all the evidence from the farm including the bones, killing the lab technician in the process. In the evening, Joshi visits Kay to let him know about what happened at the station. Joshi wonders if Kay has any memories, and he explains he does, but they were implanted, therefore not real. He shares a memory of him growing up in an orphanage and how the other kids would chase him around to steal a wooden horse from him. To avoid that, little Kay hid the toy in the furnace, and the other kids beat him for it. The next day, Kay begins searching for babies born on the date he saw at the farm. Joy keeps him company and teases him about the wooden horse story, reminding him that the toy had the same date on it, but Kay thinks it's just a coincidence. Since searching by dates provides no information, Kay begins searching by DNA and finds two kids with the exact same DNA, which shouldn't be possible. The files show the birth of two children that were sent to Moral Cole Orphanage, the girl died from a genetic disorder, and the boy simply disappeared from the records. Afterward, Kay and Joy go to San Diego to look for the orphanage. On their way there, scavengers shoot his flying car down and cause him to crash. Kay passes out and Joy tries to wake him up to no avail before she disappears due to malfunctions. The scavengers come closer to force the door open and Kay wakes up just in time to defend himself from an incoming attack. Kay gets rid of some men and takes out his gun, only to notice there's a huge armed group coming after him. At that moment, something begins shooting at the group from the sky, saving Kay from the potential fight. It turns out this is Love, who is controlling a drone remotely. She wants Kay to keep going and find the child for her. 
Eventually Kay finds the orphanage and the kids are eager to welcome him. Kay talks to Mr. Cotton to ask for the records of the kids that came here 30 years ago, and when Cotton at first refuses, Kay hits him to make him collaborate. Then Cotton takes him to his office, and on their way there, Kay can't help noticing this place looks a lot like the orphanage from his memory. When Cotton finds the records, he discovers someone took out the pages of the year they need. Cotton leaves the office and Kay notices the ashtray as a horse, inspiring him to look around the place. He finds the furnace from the memory and when he looks inside, he discovers his wooden horse is still there, causing him to have a breakdown because if the memories are real, he may be human after all. When Kay returns home, Joy is delighted to hear the story and begins calling him Joe, claiming to have always known he's special. Kay wants to be sure that the theory of him being the miracle baby is real, and Joe advises him to contact the person in charge of making the memories for the replicants. The next day, Kay visits Dr. Anna, who shows him how she makes the memories that she later sells to Wallace for his replicants. Anna explains it's illegal to copy real memories to put inside replicants, everything she's ever done was from scratch. She accepts to use her machines to look at Kay's childhood memory, and with tears in her eyes, she informs him they're the real thing. Kay has an emotional outburst before leaving the building, where he's suddenly arrested by his own co-workers. Moments later, Kay is put through the baseline examination, and his emotional state causes him to fail it. A furious Joshi brings Kay to her office to scold him for wasting his time, but Kay immediately tells her he traveled far because he found the kid, who was being used as a regular worker, and he's already retired him. Joshi's glad to hear this and gives Kay 48 hours to put himself together before taking the test again, but he makes him leave his badge and gun. Afterward Kay goes home and discovers Joy hired Mariette for the night. Since Joy can't touch anything, she puts her hologram on top of Mariette, and this allows Kay to technically get frisky with her. The next morning, Mariette hides a tracker in Kay's jacket. She also finds the horse, but Joy makes her leave before she can take anything. Moments later, Joy gets ready to leave the city since he knows the police will come for him soon. Joy wants to go with him and asks him to take her in the emanator, she also advises him to delete the copy of her on his computer so the cops can't use her against him. Kay protests because if something happens to the emanator he'd lose her forever, but Joy convinces him he needs her, thus Kay wipes out his home system and breaks the emanator's antenna. At the Wallace Corporation, Love notices this and immediately rushes out to Kay's apartment, where she finds the broken antenna. Then she goes to see Joshi, who explains she doesn't know where Kay is and that the case is over. Love informs her Kay lied about killing the born replicant, but Joshi still refuses to share more information and Love kills her. Afterward Love uses the police computer to find Kay's location. Meanwhile Kay sees a man at a pawn shop who can analyze the origins of the horse. His machine indicates high levels of radiation as those found in Las Vegas. When he makes it to the ruins of the old abandoned city, Kay's drone scans the area and finds a pocket of heat in the distance. Kay goes to investigate and finds a whole beehive near a series of dirty statues, making him decide to enter the nearest abandoned building which turns out to be a casino. After looking around for a while, Kay goes upstairs and is shocked to find a dog. This distraction allows Rick to surprise him from behind with his gun. Rick can tell Kay is a blade runner and doesn't believe him when Kay says he only wants to ask some questions, so Kay jumps to the ground floor right before Rick shoots. Rick goes looking for Kay and activates the hologram show in the casino scenario as a distraction. Kay jumps on him and after asking him to talk again, he lets Rick hit him repeatedly to prove he means no harm. Rick is convinced of Kay's intentions and takes him to the bar for a drink. Kay guesses Rick and Rachel had a kid together, and Rick confirms it. He explains that he never got to meet his own baby because of a plan. Rick taught Sapper and the members of the Replicant Freedom Movement how to scramble the records and cover their tracks, then he left Rachel with them and disappeared to avoid bringing his family trouble with the police. Upset by the memories, Rick leaves the bar, and Kay continues to look around, finding a series of wooden animals. Moments later while he's resting, Kay allows Joy to come out for a while. This triggers something in a machine, and Kay immediately turns Joy off before Rick comes to see what's happening. They look outside with binoculars and discover a group of cars approaching the building. The two of them run to get Rick's car to escape, but at that moment the room explodes. Then Love and her men come to kidnap Rick, whose attempts to defend himself fail. Kay tries to fight too, but Love kicks him down, accidentally activating Joy. The hologram begs for mercy, but Love destroys the emanator and leaves with her men, leaving Kay for dead. In the evening, a mysterious group rescues Kay and gets rid of the tracker. When Kay wakes up, he finds himself with the replicant freedom movement, which Mariette is part of. She promises him he can trust them and introduces him to their leader Fresa, who has a picture of Rachel and the baby. It was Fresa who assisted Rachel during the birth and helped her hide the baby. Sapper let Kay kill him because he also had been part of their group and swore secrecy. Fresa reveals that the baby had been a girl and she grew up to be Dr. Anna, but when they hid the baby, they dressed her in blue to create confusion. Kay is devastated to hear he isn't the miracle baby after all and realizes that when Rick taught the group to scramble records, Kay got some of the baby's data, including her memories, causing the fake DNA match he found in the computers. Fresa knows that the existence of Anna proves replicants are more than slaves and she wants the revolution to come for her people, so Kay should join them. 
Because of him Wallace found Rick, and now it's Kay's duty to kill Rick before Wallace uses him to find their group. Meanwhile Rick wakes up in a room with Wallace, who reveals he is Rachel's skull and the recording of her interview with Rick. Wallace tries to imply that Rachel's feelings for Rick had been programmed by her creator because he wanted to test if Rick could make a child with her, but Rick refuses to believe it. Determined to get information on the child, Wallace introduces Rick to a copy he made of Rachel. Rick is moved by the sight of his beloved but doesn't fall for it because they got the eye color wrong, so Wallace makes love kill Rachel before reminding Rick he can hurt him to make him talk. Back to Kay, he's wandering the streets when he suddenly sees an ad for the Joy AI that interacts with him to make him buy her. Kay remembers all the lives that have been lost and decides to get revenge for his joy. He finds a car and follows Love's vehicle, which is transporting Rick to Wallace's secret building where he keeps all his pain machines. Kay shoots Love's car and causes it to crash against a dam. Then Kay approaches the car as he opens fire, but Love shoots back and they both get hit by bullets. While the water from the dam begins flooding the car, Kay and Love start fighting hand to hand, but Love reveals a hidden knife and stabs Kay. Assuming she's won, Love kisses Kay and leaves him to die before returning to the car. However she's attacked by surprise by Kay, who used the water to approach her without being noticed. After some struggle, Kay manages to kill Love and then releases Rick from his bindings. The two of them swim to Kay's car and watch Love's vehicle sink. Kay points out now everyone will think Rick is dead, so he's free to reunite with his daughter. Rick and Kay travel to Anna's labs, but before going inside, Kay gives Rick the horse. While Rick enters the building and finally gets to meet his daughter, Rick sits on the steps and watches the snow fall as he wonders if he'll survive his stab wound. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.